But there is a looming, potentially cataclysmic crisis that may doom recovery efforts in New Orleans. Eventually what's going to happen is, is that the coast of Louisiana is going to be inundated by the Gulf of Mexico. Dr. Roy Daga, a professor of civil and environmental engineering at Louisiana State University, is now using high-powered global positioning satellites to develop true elevation points in the state. Well, this is a GPS measuring device. This is the antenna up here. What we're using this for is to figure out exactly how high we are above sea level, but more importantly, how low we are below sea level. I and mean, what that's been able to do is that, that it's shown us that the, that the sinking is occurring much faster than what people had thought before, and it's occurring in places that we didn't know it was happening. Dr. Daka's results indicate the elevations of some areas have dropped as much as two feet since they were last surveyed in 1970. And the sinking continues. According to some estimates, within the next 70 years, about 15,000 square miles of land in southern Louisiana, known as the wetlands, could be underwater. The wetlands encompass a marshy region that acts as a buffer zone, slowing down hurricanes before they reach New Orleans. We're losing, on, on average, a football field every hour. The reason for the sinking is an ecological catch-22, arising from human efforts to protect against flooding from the Mississippi. In order to stop the flooding, we levied the rivers. We, we kept the river within its bank, we tamed it. But in the process, we also disrupted the natural system. Before, the river would naturally fill up areas that had subsided, and as it filled them up above sea level, higher and higher, the river then would find another course and begin to fill up other areas that had fallen below sea level. In addition to the wetlands, Louisiana's other natural defense against hurricanes has been the Barrier Islands, which were part of the region's shoreline just a century ago. Katrina blasted right through them with Category 5 force. Perhaps it was a fundamental design disaster to build the city of New Orleans on this land. Authorities are faced with an increasingly complex decision. Whether to invest enormous amounts of time and money to attempt to completely protect the city with a newly designed and engineered levee system, or to simply patch and rebuild the existing system. This is not just a New Orleans problem, but it's the entire coastal problem. And that means what we need to do is to build some sort of structure that's going to keep the water out, building a levee that might span the entire coast. This would be the biggest engineering project in the history of the Earth. This would make the pyramids look like nothing. And so what we need to do is to start new ways of thinking, start thinking about building the Great Wall of Louisiana. But whatever the decision, the outcome for New Orleans may ultimately lie in the unpredictable hands of Mother Nature and her power to transform the Big Easy into a modern-day Atlantis. Atlantis.